Welcome to the show everybody. Today I'll be telling you guys the best points to set your vaporizer to in order to inhale the most popular cannabinoids, THC and CBD. Plus we'll cover some of those terpenes as well. So years and years ago, originally in 2011 I think, I filmed an old episode simply explaining what vaporization versus combustion was. That was before, you know, vaping became this big thing. And those who paid attention to that episode noticed that I had my own volcano vaporizer set at 190 Celsius. And to this day I still set it at that. As a recreational user primarily interested in THC, that's the right setting for me. The perfect temperature point for you is a mix of both personal preference and medical needs. As several of you said to me after watching that old episode, hey Lex, the boiling point for THC is around 157 Celsius, so why don't you set it closer to that so you can make the hit as tasty and as least harsh as possible. The answer is, first, because 157 is the minimum point for THC, not the most efficient point in the desktop vaporizer, and also because then I'd be missing several other great cannabinoids and terpenes. The vaporization point of myrcene, a well-known monoterpene, isn't until 167 Celsius. Limonene doesn't vaporize until 176 Celsius. Those are not just terpenes with nice aromas, but there's good evidence that myrcene in particular interacts with THC in order to make it stronger, as I've mentioned in my How to Get Higher for Longer episode. But if that was all there was to it, I'd set up shop at about 179 Celsius and call it a day. But then there's the all-important medical use cannabinoid CBD. It doesn't vaporize until around 180 Celsius. And I'm a big believer in getting my CBD even if I'm not sick. And most people are surprised to know as you travel from 180 Celsius all the way up to 230 Celsius, the maximum setting for many vapes, you actually get more CBD. We have a half-decent 2014 study from the Australian University of Wollongong that shows us this. This was a study where they pulled more CBD out of a volcano vaporizer running at 230 Celsius than at 210 Celsius. By the way, they also noticed in that study that doses of 5 to 10 milligrams of CBD vaporized much more efficiently, as opposed to, you know, big... 200 milligram globs. Anyway, these are all big things to know if cancer or some other serious medical condition is the reason you need CBD. So if that's your case, turn the temperature up. The unfortunate part is that at that high temperature, it makes things a lot more harsh, a lot more smoky, and a little bit of combustion actually starts to happen. So if you're consuming CBD medically, that's really the only reason you should do it. And ideally, if you are a medical user, you should be using, you know, edibles or tinctures in the best case scenario. But for me, a recreational user trying to strike the balance between a smooth taste and getting all my THC and a good chunk of CBD in there, plus CBN, vaporization point of 185 Celsius, plus factoring in the two or three degrees of variation as the vaporizer heats up and cools down, and pretty much I ended up at that uh, number six right here that you would see on the Volcano Vaporizer, which happens to be right at 190 Celsius. Oh, and by the way, if you do have an analog volcano like this, you can still know your temperature. You can look up on Google Images for a sticker that looks like this blue one right here that's actually, it can be used as a cheat sheet. This is my current volcano, it's a different one from the one I used in that old episode. And I think the next time we'll be seeing this volcano is for my Volcano Extreme Stunt episode, which looks like it's going to be coming up fairly soon since my 420 Club is already more than halfway up to goal number one. Um, if you're wondering what 420 Club, you probably missed the last episode, so check that out, uh, link to the club right 
here somewhere. But otherwise, if you're new here, subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time.